to the 3 o'clock hour here at CFX Live. Welcome to everybody out there in Facebook land. Welcome to everybody out there in Twitch world. This looks like a maybe one person for now, but that's okay. Uh, we are trying to figure out what is going to be the best way to do more live streams here in the future. Uh, we are trying to see if Facebook Live is still the way to go. Uh, maybe trying to simulcast on Facebook Live and a few other places. We have a Twitch page going on right now. I'm um, streaming through my iPad uh, because this is kind of a uh, quick test for us right here. So, uh, welcome again, you guys, to CFX Live. We're going to be trying to do a few more of these live streams um, throughout the month. Uh, we are going to do two more live streams on Friday, so make sure you tune back in. Uh, make sure you hit the like button on Facebook if you haven't already, and make sure you uh, sign up to get notified for when we go live. Um, so just to rehash a little bit, you guys, we are back in the shop. We are taking all of your orders. We are shipping things out on about a six-week, uh, roughly, uh, production time frame right now. So if you need a mask, you've been waiting, you haven't been sure if we're back in the shop, we are back in the shop. So feel free to reach out to us via email, just shop online. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. We are here to help. Um, and as you can see behind me, we have quite a few masks. Uh, we do have the anticipation of going to a convention in a few weeks. Possibly two. Convention. Uh, possibly two. We have hopefully Mask Fest coming up um, in September, but we're trying to make sure we follow all guidelines. We're trying to make sure everybody stays safe and stays healthy. So we're just keeping an eye on things, but we wanted to be here for you guys to uh, talk shop, talk masks, and in this hour, try on some masks. So we're going to do some questions and answers, but I think we're going to do that at the end. Um, and just to remind you guys, we are doing a free domestic shipping promotion. Uh, just in case you guys weren't aware, we have continued that from our Fans World sale earlier in March. Um, so free domestic shipping on gloves or mask purchase. We use code TW2020 when you order online or when you email us for any custom stuff. Uh, but yeah, so free domestic shipping. we got some masks going on right here. Do we want to get into try-ons? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, quite a few people are on here just saying hello. Um, but you're you're the boss, so you tell us how this goes. Hello again, you guys. I'm just going to go back and recap. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. This is the 3 o'clock hour. We were here at noon, so thank you guys if you were coming back. I know that I saw some comments that you're tuning in while you're still working. That's okay. We appreciate you being uh, and all these videos will be uploaded to different social media sites. Also, if we do more of these, what what time works best for everybody? Yes. Uh, uh, let us know. Does during the week work good for you? Do you want to try weekends? Do you want to do middle of the day, kind of like we're doing now? Would evening work better? Uh, we're here to please you guys. We are people pleasers. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in this business. Um, so we want to know what time frames work best for you guys for us to do more live streams. Um, and all of that, we did put out a call for what you guys want to see, uh, what kind of content you guys want to see on these live streams. Uh, so we got obviously a lot of requests for mask try-ons, glove try-ons, how to put masks on, how to put them on head forms, how to wash the masks, and everything else in between. So we're trying to accommodate that, but if you have any other suggestions, feel free to let us know in the comments um, or shoot us a message. We're here for you guys. So, were there any pressing questions? Um, for requests for no. Already might have? No, but I think everyone's waiting on what they had requested earlier. Right, so I know we're going to do uh, a goblin. Yes, yeah, Sk goblin. Skippy wants to uh, ask to try on the ones that he sent you earlier. Yeah, so uh, I don't have a Hugo right now, but we do have that horse move four, which we'll try on, and we have uh, the horse in the deck. We might be able to try that guy on pretty as well. Um, so, we're going to Hey, Skippy, do you want me to try those on, or do you want Tabby to try them on? I mean, they're male for the mask, so technically Josh should try them on. I can put them on. I put my hair in bed for a good reason. I do expect to do some work. Um, I did and see a... Doll face, and we have vengeance, and war, like Skippy said. I saw, I wish you all have the Batman. No, we, I don't know. He's blending in with the... I He's hiding the back there. Kind of blending. Well, it's perfect. He's blending. We we have a horned cow, superhero cow, um, that can be cast in black. It's our hero hood. Or hero hood, that's what it is. Reach out to us if you need it. Uh, we've also just done, uh, actually we have a few of them in the 
police officer in uh, red and black except the one. Yeah. Uh, we also can do quite a multitude of things. So she was Is that out. still here? There, the repeat one is in, but the okay. one that looks more like the movie two has right now, actually. So if you're back, that was his mask that's going out that we're talking about right now. Awesome. All right, um, let's get into let's get into trying mask on. Okay, so. So you want to do doll face real quick? I can put doll face on real quick. We have our mask box over here. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, um, and we will be cleaning the mask box here in just a little bit. Um, Thorough sanitizing. And you'll notice that, uh, unlike Fans World, that's why we are keeping the masks very separated. Um, so, yes. Um, and, yeah, so we're, uh, Lysol has been proven to clean uh, effectively and efficiently. Um, and then we have our mask box that we will be cleaning. And we also have 99 alcohol that we've been using. And Tio, uh, I'll put doll face on after Tabitha, um, and you'll be able to see. I, my head fits most of the masks pretty well, but uh, I do tend to stretch doll face a little bit. Yeah, you look a little big, <laughs> um, Samantha, in terms of cleaning, uh, honestly, you would prefer 99 alcohol, um, a good spritzing of alcohol, uh, or a you know a bath with a dishwasher deter you know dish. Dishwashing detergent, Dawn, and uh, warm water. Uh, that would be what our, our preferred method. Uh, when we're at the cons or in a mobile environment, yeah, we will use Lysol at times. All right, and so uh, Carrie wants to know, I have a pretty small head. Do Nadia and Pandora fit small? Um, yes. Yes. Uh, they are our female fit, uh, which I believe is 20, about 20 inches to 20, uh, one inch, uh, which is the Hey Adam, how you guys doing? Uh, lots of people watching this. Chad, how's it going? Just seeing you signing in. Um, and then uh, Mac, Mackie, uh, we we have a Naga set aside, Naga and Viper set to the side to try on. So uh, I'm gonna have Tabby jump out of doll face. Um, yeah, too. No baby powders needed for the mask. Uh, sometimes we'll use it for getting it on a head form. Uh, you know, some, sometimes when someone has really long hair and it's their first time putting a mask on, but, uh, once you're comfortable with the mask, yeah, no, we, no, no baby powders needed. Uh, 
out to the live stream if he needs it to do stuff. Um, so he's over there cleaning off doll face, you guys. Uh, if you missed the beginning part of this, welcome to our 3 o'clock hour of our live stream. Uh, we are trying on masks for you uh, since we haven't been able to see you in person at any of these conventions. Uh, we will hopefully be able to do more of these live streams. Uh, a few live streams, maybe a month. We're trying to figure out the best format, so for now we're here on Facebook Live for you guys. Uh, and we're trying on masks, like I was saying. So, you were doing that golf course, right? Yes, we got it. That's fine. Um, here, I can put on this half mask. Yeah, people were talking about half masks. So, yes, we do have some half masks. Ah! Uh, I need a camera there. Quite, quite a bit of things. Hold on, okay, I'm just so trying to catch up. Okay. Okay. Would the doll face mask have any UV reactive variants? Yeah, we can totally do. Yeah, we could totally do that with UV accents. Um, put a clown paint job on it. Uh, it can be cast in any color. It doesn't have to be in that white color. If you wanted it to kind of be like a. Uh, an older burlap sack style look. We can cast it in, in yeah, that brown color. A um, bunch of different stuff for that. Um, okay, let's see here. People talking about baby powder, not using it. Uh, Um, Chad wants to know if we have any cloth masks to try on today. Is that the, like the face shields? Yeah, um, we do it. Yeah. That's what I should have done. So I'll try to remember that next time. 
Okay, uh, Gary wants to know if we could try on a Frankenstein mask. Uh, possibly at the end of this one. If not, we will do it tomorrow. Uh, or, I'm sorry, uh, Friday at the, on the noon segment. So, again, that's Friday noon segment. Uh, Tio, so I, I have about a 23, 23 and a quarter inch, uh, head circumference and you saw me in that doll. So, uh, yeah, you, it would pro most likely work. Uh, it is going to be tight, yeah. but it would work. Um, all right. So Carrie says with Nadia, is the amp and her nude rust the only color variant she comes in? No, there are a multitude of different variations she comes in. She can come in a flush Caucasian. Uh, some of the ones we have on the website are like the flash Caucasian and the Empress, as we're calling her, because she looks like the imp. Uh, she's got all of his patterning. Um, the dark rust as well as a vibrant red, but if you have a special color in mind, let us know. We can custom paint them uh, to pretty much anything your heart desires. Yeah, so they can be cast in whatever color. Uh, the horns can go in a, a different color if you would like, um, and then we could do whatever paint scheme on them. Okay, let's see here. Uh, so we, a horseman of pestilence is being asked for, uh, is Skippy? no, Matt that's Hall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Skippy, that's one that Skippy wants. I mean, I, we're going to go grab him real quick. Um, do we have, we have another one that's not on the, yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, Tabby's going to go grab that pestilence, uh, try on the red devil mask at the back there. Um, I'm assuming Pandora, uh, that would have to be Tabby. Um, that is one that I, I, I barely fit in that one. Um, are there any cons in California that you attend uh, in the San Francisco area? Uh, Tabby and I actually just moved out to Baton Rouge from Milpitas. Uh, yeah, we were living in Milpitas uh, for about a year and a half. Before that, we were in San Leandro. Um, and so we're from California, originally from San Diego. Uh, ran a haunted house up in the Bay Area. And then we're moving the haunted house out here to Baton Rouge it's a little bit more affordable um but yeah so the cons that we do attend in california are usually san diego comic-con um and this year it was going to be midsummer scream uh that we were going to attend let's see here let's see here can you modify the stock mask could you put moss on the pumpkin head mask uh yeah we can totally do that so uh, the pumpkin head over there has some of the, the pumpkin guts coming out of him. We could trade that out for moss. He could just not have that and just be, uh, you know, a standard pumpkin head. Uh, it, a lot of the, let's see here, I'm trying to angle the camera here. But uh, the, the rat, he can have uh, slime and stuff coming out of his mouth. Um, we have a pale version of him, so he doesn't have to come in that sewer rat color. We, they're, they're talking about modifications on other stuff. But uh, the gargoyle with his moss right there, um, that's an option that you can have. You don't have to have that on there. So just to kind of show you guys, here's a plethora of our other face masks that we have that we got oh. today. Uh, so we've got some imp ones. We have CFX logo ones. We've got some plate prank ones. Uh, and a few other good ones in here. So if you're coming to see us at Texas Hunters Convention, we will have these masks for you. Uh, and that is the only horseman of pestilence we have right now. So it's up to you if you want to try that on or not. Um, would you like to do gloves real quick? Um, yeah, so I think what we do is we do a gloves and then I go into a mask and then uh, we kind of work from there. Um, let's see. All right, Brian. Uh, yeah. Yep. Milpitas. Uh, again, not originally from there, but I uh, lived there for That's a the few years. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hello from HCH, Michael Myers from the Hollis Haunted Chicken House in Hef <laughs> Heflin, Alabama. Hey, that's not too far away. We'll have to come see you. Yeah. Okay, um, let's get back into this right here. We're going to pull the camera back. Uh, um, yeah, all right, so we're going to do a Naga and Viper since they're kind of matching. Basically. Uh, and 
if any of you guys have been on Redbubble and if you've seen any of the apparel that we have for Naga, that's me and the mask uh, for Naga. Piper. Alright, this sock kind of looks so pretty on camera. I'm not trying to look pretty on camera. I'm trying to get the least to sit right there. Talk. <laughs> she wants me to talk. I don't know. She's, she's the one that talks about that. So why don't we do gloves and the goblin? Uh, we've got a few items over here for Josh to do. Let's pick up with the gloves. Um, and why don't you run the camera? Okay. I'm going to take my face off. Hope you guys don't mind. Here I guess. going to do a different shirt, guys. Sorry, he's changing it all up along, you guys. Uh, Chad, several of the, uh, some of these masks uh, are still available for purchase. We have a lot of them slated to go with us as stock for a Texas Haunters Convention, so they're not available on the website right now. Um, we're hoping that show does still go on so that you can see us there and buy them in person, but if for whatever reason it does not happen, uh, we will relist these guys back on our in-stock page. Uh, and thank you guys as well for joining us and all your guys' kind words. We're very happy to be back here at the shop uh, being able to do these videos for you guys uh, and show you, you know, just some a little bit of behind-the-scenes stuff at the shop. Uh, you know, try on these masks for you guys, show you some tips and tricks and all that good stuff here. Uh, Jacob, I see your comment about a bast mask. We actually don't have any in stock at the moment. Uh, one is with my hair artist getting whiskers. So we don't have her. Uh, I do apologize. Okay, guys. I'm going to try and just... I'm a little out of practice, but I'm going to try and do this <laughs> by myself. Uh, you see I prepped the gloves. So I did an initial roll-up. I know which glove is which. I'm going to set that just off camera right there. Um... I'd also probably use a spray bottle normally, but uh, we're gonna just do a little 99 alcohol. Uh, 
Uh, and Steven, we actually don't have any Rocky Demons right now. Uh, we have none in stock. The ones that we had bought, or excuse me, that we had made for Trans World and Fans World were purchased that week. So we do have a Ifrit variant coming through production right now. Uh, but we don't have one in stock. I apologize. And Nick, yes, we're hoping to be in Indianapolis later this year. We are very, very much hoping that Mask Fest continues, uh, which is part of Whorehound Weekend. So, guys, as you can see, that's Josh putting on uh, one glove by his lonesome, which most people can't accomplish. The trick sometimes is putting on the second glove uh, when you already have one glove on. And just alcohol. Uh, and Carrie, I know you said you're ha we're having uh, some audio issues. Uh, that's 99% uh, alcohol, uh, so rubbing alcohol. It doesn't have to be 99%. 99 does uh, kill most of the germs, especially. It evaporates fast. Yes, and it evaporates faster. So you don't have to use 99, uh, 97, or 71. Yeah, 71 works as well. That's why we use alcohol. And so yeah, you just roll up the sleeve. Um, the gloves that have less buildup on them, like these Feeny gloves, obviously are easier to roll up. Uh, when you get gloves with more detail, like the Nephilim gloves that are a lot of bone work, uh, it is a little, a little tricky. Um, but it's just a, it's a learned behavior to learn technique. Yes, very tingly. So make sure you don't have any cuts on your fingers or hands, Carrie. <laughs> oh, you wusses. It's no big deal. Uh, Tio, the gloves are same as the master. One size fits most. Um, they fit best on people who, if you have like latex or uh, surgical gloves that are medium or large fit. So I'm 5'11", about 185 pounds. So if that gives you any idea. Uh, but yeah, so I can totally function. Um, it's a bottle. Uh, he's got some other stuff that he can pick up over there. Uh, it's a flashlight. flashlight, one of our UV flashlights, yep. Yeah. So I can totally work that. Work that, yeah, work that. <laughs> um, now, did you want to put the mask on with the gloves? Watch All right, well, apparently I'm, I'm taking direction now. Uh, the alcohol isn't necessary for the gloves, but it does help quite a lot uh, when putting that the gloves our, on. That's our trick that we're trying to teach you right there. <laughs> Not necessary, but it does help. Yeah, it's, it's much easier than uh, even trying to use baby powder, to be honest with you, which is why we don't recommend the baby powder. Uh, so here goes Josh. I would, I would normally do this, probably the mask first, then put the gloves on my hands, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do it. All right, and there's Josh in a mask and some gloves. You've got a wrinkle in your neck. I'm so I can feel it. All righty, so <laughs> that's Josh in a flesh Who's goblin. Josh? All right, that's the goblin. Um, with the fiend gloves on. So those uh, two pieces weren't necessarily meant to match. He's going off screen to the Twitch stream. Um, a brand of alcohol? Well, you're not using spirit, you're using rubbing alcohol. So uh, whatever your convenience store, CVS, your pharmacy, Walmart. Uh, yeah, don't waste the good booze, as I like to say. Um, and yeah, that does get kind of an uncanny valley. I, I definitely agree. Uh, and John, would, would we consider the masks hypoallergenic? Uh, I mean, well, silicone, as far as we know, there is no allergy to silicone, unlike there is with latex. So technically, um, there's no allergies as far as we know, uh, and that haven't been reported to us with silicone. So in that regard, then uh, yeah, they're technically hypoallergenic, I guess. Uh, isopropyl alcohol, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think ethyl alcohol would be the way to go. <laughs> 
And yeah, Skippy, unfortunately it is hard to get uh, rubbing alcohol right now. Luckily we have uh, a little bit of a surplus, but we definitely understand how it is a hot commodity right now. Uh, and Gary, yeah, we can pretty much make any of the gloves match any of our masks. So if you have something uh, specific in mind, uh, we can we can paint the gloves to match. So just shoot us an email, uh, info at compositeeffects.com. All right, so uh, Goblin's going to come over here and operate the camera for a second, I think, or uh, ah. just get in the way. Ah. Don't be a half breather, that's Chris. I don't know where you've been. I don't know where he's been. This is why we can have nice things. Um, just to remind you guys, we are still doing free domestic shipping for any of our masks and glove orders. Uh, make sure you use code two, excuse me, TW2020. Words are hard right now for some reason. I think I'm just too busy laughing at Josh trying to dance behind the camera for me right now. Um, he is doing a very good job with this instruction. Uh, free domestic shipping on masks and glove orders. Use code TW2020 at checkout if you are on our website, uh, or make sure you reference that in an email if you need some customizations. Uh, so, Gary, uh, if you need customizations, make sure you reference that in email because I believe you are in the United States, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yes, you guys, so I know we're coming up on our half hour mark. Um, if we have some more questions, We'll happily answer some more of those questions. I know we have a few more masks that we didn't really get to try on. Uh, obviously, we need a whole just like 45 minute segment of trying masks on. Uh, we can keep going a little bit if you, we have enough people hanging out on there. How many people yeah. we got going Yeah. Um, just give me a hand with this. Give me a hand real quick. Haha, uh -huh, your hand. No, no, no. Roll it. Do it. Do it. I was supposed to. I'm going to help you with those fingertips or not. I don't know if you need me to help with the tip or not. Oh, I just said that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I did. I did and I'm the that. one that gets in trouble. Oh, well, you know, that's what happens when I let us survive. Ken was just over here. Where did he... He walked off. He was like, oh, I'm going to hang out on the 3 o'clock stream. And he wanders over here, and then he disappears. So... So what, what, were, the, what were the other ones that Skippy wanted uh, to see? That, uh, if you wanted pestilence, put the horseman of uh, uh, war that's in there. That's right. Uh, Matt wants to see the Horseman of Pestilence, so I might be able to pop him off that head for him over there. Uh, and T.O., yes, there are uh, our natural human gloves, uh, which look like natural humans, ger generic hands. Uh, Craig, I don't believe we're doing a buy a mask and gloves and get a deal right now. Um, it's mainly just the free domestic shipping um, if you're not domestic, we may be able to do some sort of discount if you're international, but uh, send us an email and let us know where you are and what you're interested in, and we can see uh, if our discount applies to you. Let's see. <laughs> All right. 
What else do we have? Uh, Skippy's just saying he's gonna buy all the masks. Uh, Jason, hi from Africa, from Jason Cal Cal Kaltz. Kaltz. I probably butchered your last name. I'm sorry. Uh, and so, Skippy, we have all the masks for you. So whenever you're ready to buy them. Well, he wants to buy them at Texas Haunt Con. So hopefully everything goes well, and we'll be able to see you there. Uh, and so we we're not putting the Jeepers Creepers one, the Jeepers Creepers scratch version. Uh, on because he's got all that hair work and I don't want to pull him off the head for him. I'm gonna be honest, but that same mask uh, we have a different color on without the hair that Josh has on his in his hands, and so, so it's he. Just a modification of this mask. Yes. And you're, we'll compare the two. Yes. And hi from Singapore. Wow, we've just gotten like international acclaim today. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. We really do appreciate you guys uh, spending your your time with us. Uh, we do anticipate to do more of these videos, so hopefully uh, we have a good response and we're entertaining enough to make you guys want to come back for more. Uh, and Skippy, yeah, hopefully we'll know well ahead of time what the situation is with Texas Hunters Convention. Uh, we got an email from them today talking about some stuff, so uh, everything seems to be going uh, according to plan right now. So you can see the modifications are on here, the back of the head. Uh, so we call that, yeah, we call that our demon variant. Uh, so he's got the uh, the extra little demon fingers that wrap around his head there and the hair work. You can get it with or without the hair work depending on what you're looking for. Of course, Carrie, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, And I think that was, uh, besides pestilence, maybe we can pop pestilence on there real quick as you... Yeah. It is a male fit mask after all. Uh, but again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we are definitely going to be doing this again on Friday. So we're going to be doing uh, the same thing, same back time, same back, er, same imp time, same imp channel is actually what I should be saying. I'm just going to new phrase. Um, so yes, Friday at noon at Central Standard Time because that's where we are located. Uh, we'll be back doing pretty much the same thing, going over a few things, probably trying a few more masks on. And then at the three o'clock hour, we're going to be hanging out with Jen in the paint room while she uh, paints some stuff up. And uh, maybe have a snack or two, maybe an adult beverage to celebrate Friday. I don't know yet. We're going to figure it out, but we're going to have a good time. So I've got this creep behind me, now in front of me. Uh, that's Four Horsemen of Pestilence uh, from our Four Horsemen line. Uh, War was another one. Um, but yes. So guys, I think I'm going to kind of uh, segue out here. Thank you guys again so much for joining us. We really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, on Friday, we will be back here at noon and at 3 on Facebook Live and also streaming on Twitch. Uh, until then, we'll see you soon.